And we got some SoCal players going to Evo, I think. So we're going to start this off here. We have Olimar and Luigi to start off the day. JK, I believe, is the Olimar. Luke is the Luigi. Once again, I don't recognize either of these players, but looks like we have Olimar off to a pretty good start so far. Just using that Pikmin damage, racking it up on Luigi there, but Luigi can make that back exceptionally quickly. Let's see what he does here. Get some forward airs, and already, look at that. He's in the lead. Just like that. Just a few good hits. It's all Luigi needs. I feel like this matchup pretty much boils down to an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. Or Olmar is just going to want to create that wall, not let Luigi have his time today. And Luigi, on the other hand, is going to be patient, search for that opening, and strike when the oven is hot. Get that massive damage in there. And so far, it seems like these two are on pretty even footing. Is he going to go for the down B? No. The Pikmin messing with the timing a little bit there. And JK is going to be taking the first stock of Hat. 73. So far, all he's got is a purple. That doesn't seem like it's going to be too helpful. But now the blue, that's going to be great for his grabs, of course. And the white, Luigi does not want to have to deal with that white. Because, oh, there it is. Tornado not able to get rid of it. And now look how much damage Luigi racked up just from that white Pikmin. This is such a great position for JK. Still holding on to his first stock here in this game one. So we got Olimar off stage here. Not too big of a deal. Able to throw some Pikmin. Find his footing again. And Lucas here is really looking for something. I don't know if he needs a smash deck. A tornado will definitely do it. And Luigi's tornado. I think anybody who's played a good Luigi in this game knows very knows that move very well. But people who haven't played a good Luigi, that'll definitely catch, catch him off guard the first few times. That tornado basically takes whatever your opponent does and is just like, nah, bro, screw that. I don't care. Tornado time. But the tornado time is not going to be enough here to bring Lucas back into the lead as he SDs there, the air dodge, costing him his stock. Um, getting some good damage there on Jacob, somehow falling out of the NATO. I, that looked pretty bizarre. Going for the ultimate kill there, but did not land it. Not too much of a punish though, but look at the stage positioning, right? I think this is honestly where JK is getting the edge in this set. When Lucas is able to gain stage control, he can get some good stuff off of it, but those opportunities seem very few and far between. You just have JK stuffing him out really well, keeping him near those ledges. And even when Lucas is in center stage like this, Olmar can just push him away. And now look, we have Lucas off stage, but JK overextending pretty massively there. Not getting punished for it though. Wow, I love the patience there coming out from Lucas, but he wasn't able to convert anything off of that down throw. So it's gonna be a little. Oh, okay, yeah, you gotta tech that. If you main Luigi, your tech's gotta be on point. Otherwise, that's gonna happen. Poor Luigi. His recovery in this game just does not cut it compared to a lot of other characters. JK taking full advantage of that and earning himself a two stock in game one. I imagine Louis Lucas here, the Luigi main, not the Lucas main, um, is going to want to pick a stage that maybe has less room for Olimar to breathe. Or is he going to switch off of Luigi perhaps? No, he's saying his character was not the problem. Luigi solo main potentially, I'm not sure. Again, I don't know him, but yeah, I think this Luigi may be able to put in some work as long as he makes a few key adjustments. Luigi. It's just a matter of getting in against that Olimar man. Luigi, not exactly known for his mobility. Lucas deciding the character wasn't the problem, the stage wasn't the problem problem was just the way I played that game and I'm going to adapt and I am going to make something happen here. That's probably what he's thinking and so far it's too early to really tell much of anything. We are getting some good 
aggression coming out from this Olimar. That's the thing about JK, too. I've been talking a lot about how he's been walling Lucas out and not letting him get stage control, but it's not like he's just turtling him and chucking Pikmin the entire time. He's actually doing some aggressive zoning, which is very interesting with Olimar. It's a little riskier to play that way, but the payoff can be so much higher. I mean, just look at this. He's at 114 already. And there's a red and a yellow. No longer a yellow, so the red will be enough to take that stock there. Such a fast move, that red forward smash. Spot dodging the plunger. Lucas, I don't think, is landing quite as many grabs as he kind of hopes he would. Like, as many grabs as he would want to. JK is expertly timing these spot dodges, somehow not getting hit by that tornado. Falling out of that one, Lucas's tornadoes have unfortunately not been exactly helping him as much as maybe they should. Let's see if Lucas continues to try to go for that kind of strategy or if he just changes it up a little bit. Wow, JK spot dodges have been so incredibly on point in this set. Just the plunger spot dodges, spot dodging that forward smash coming out from Luigi, certain doom, and retaliating with a forward smash of his own, still have yet to lose a stock. This is looking very, very good for JK right here. And yes, of course, I've said Luigi has the ability to take stocks very quickly, but with the tempo of the set and the way JK's been playing, he's not overextending apart from maybe one or two instances, and he's just keeping it cool, not really scared of this Luigi, that's the thing. He's just playing his game, and he's making Lucas play his game, and if you're Luigi, the last thing you want to be doing is playing your opponent's game. Lucas, I feel like, has just been getting more off of stray hits than anything else. Let's see if he can take the stock, though. Are we going to see a three stock in the first set of the night? Nope. Wow, I don't feel like I've seen Lucas really use Nair very much. A frame two move, though. A kill move, as we just saw right there. And that will be enough to take that stock. <laughs> nice, nice misfire there. It's going to be a JV. Let's see. L Lucas... Let's see what you got in store in your winner's bracket life here. What will you be able to do against the Solomar? Blue up throw, and that will be it. That will be a JV3 stock. JK with an extremely convincing 2-0 there. Moving on to winner's round two here at Hat. Just very solid, consistent, risk-averse Olimar play. Yeah, he did do that aggressive zoning, which can be a little risky. But against Luigi, how is Luigi going to contest that exactly? That's just, yeah. I think JK just played that very well. Hold on one second.